Hello, it's Brittany from Northeast Insurance Services, and yes, my hair is purple. Welcome to another episode of Millennial Moment. College graduation is one of the most important milestones in a person's life. Graduation signifies an end, but it also signifies a new life beginning. There is now a whole new world, the adult world, to explore. To make the most of this change, here are a handful of financial, professional, and general tips. And remember to stick around to the end for some handy dandy career tips. First thing, take care of yourself. College forces us to have routines. Take that away and you end up spending every evening watching Netflix on the couch. Stick to a balanced diet meal plan. Prepare your own meals instead of ordering out all the time. Check the packaged foods you eat. How processed are those foods? Don't stop learning. While it may seem that college is filled with new experiences and classes, a lot of your growing as a person will occur outside in the world around you. Here are a few ways to continue learning outside of school. One is to learn a new language. Find a new hobby. Volunteer for nonprofits or programs. Get your certification in a career-related topic watch documentaries or series, there's plenty of them on Netflix. Take a free online course. An example would be YouTube or LinkedIn Learning. Join an industry group or network. Move forward and show up. Ignore all the questions you or those around you have about the future. Just keep moving forward. You don't have to figure everything out immediately upon graduation. You just have to keep showing up every day. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Be kind to yourself be patient. Don't limit your future to your degree or your skills. Reaching your financial goals. Between student loans, bills, rent, or whatever else that relies on your bank account, it can be overwhelming to learn how to be financially independent. Let's start with your student loan. Know how much you owe in total each month and your interest rate. Pick a repayment plan that best suits you and your budget. Stick to a budget with concrete financial goals. Prioritize your loan payments. And remember the value of your education instead of focusing on the loss of funds every month. Now some general good financial tips are track your money in one place no matter how much you may or may not have. Personally I use Google Sheets and I have a ongoing budget that I update every month. Even mobile apps like Personal Capital or Mint can help you. Save at least 20 to 25% of your paycheck and feel free to spend the rest after your bills of course. Minimize your biggest expenses food, commuting, or even housing. Put as much into your 401k as possible. Start investing even if it seems scary. There's plenty of resources online where you can learn more about this. Diversify your income by freelancing or doing odd jobs. Visit our blog at the link provided to learn some first time renter tips. And now for the special topic for the video, career networking tips. Being successful in any industry requires some form of networking. As an introvert myself, I wish this weren't the case. However, connections within and without your industry can help you succeed and move forward in your career of choice. Create a LinkedIn profile. Over the past few years, LinkedIn has become one of the most popular uh, professional social networking platforms. It can connect you with industry leaders and future and coworkers. Plus, employers look for job candidates, so why wouldn't you be there? Use your school's career services office. It's free and they can help you with resumes and cover letters, as well as job interview preparations. Join a professional development or industry network. They can connect you to professionals in your interest area. Attend industry events. Not only will you learn at least one thing in your field, but you'll be able to meet other professionals and associations related to your industry. Know your worth and be able to articulate that worth. Take a moment and write down what you do or what you want to do. Then explain why. Repeat it out loud as often as possible. Find reasons to follow up. Share a relevant article and invitation to a conference or even just well wishes during the holiday. My final piece of advice for your networking career, be the hookup. If you're a shy person or an introvert like myself, you prefer conversations or situations to not be about you. So be the person that connects people together. You're seen as helpful and people are more inclined to then help you. Finally, we'd be remiss not to mention insurance. We invite you to contact us either on our website or by phone or social media so we can help you understand insurance that you need and answer any questions that you may have. 
Here at Northeast Insurance Services, we're more than insurance. We protect what means the most to you, and we built our business by connecting with our clients. In the comments, feel free to share any advice you found valuable and any questions that you may have. Be sure to hit that subscribe uh, Okay. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and if you're interested in any more insurance information, check out this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Millennial Moment. Mm -hmm.